So let's say you're running an online shop, running WooCommerce, and you want to give certain permissions to your shop manager to control your website, but you don't want to give full control because once you've designed your store, you don't want your shop manager to go in and change colors and change the layout of your website. So the question is, how do you go in and uh, put these permissions in, in order for your shop manager not to mess up with your design? That is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you how to set it all up so that your shop stays intact design-wise. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that for this tutorial, we're going to be using Divi. And if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. You'll also have access to my WordPress mastery course and also my Photoshop for web designers course. All right. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to add our shop manager to our website. So I'm gonna come all the way down here to users and then click on add new. So to add your shop manager, you can just uh, type in their username here. Uh, you wanna give them your first name, email address. And the most important thing here is you need to make sure you assign the role. So if you click on this drop down, we have author, contributor, editor, and so on. So in this case, we want shop manager. Now that's assuming that you've already gone ahead and installed WooCommerce. You need to have WooCommerce installed and pretty much your shop up and running. So once you set up your shop manager, all you have to do is to click on add user. Now I've already gone ahead and added a shop manager and you can see here on the role, there is administrator, which is me, and then there is a shop manager. Okay, so now we need to go in and take a look at the shop manager and assign certain roles, things that they can do and can't do on our design. Okay, so to achieve that, you want to come all the way down here, hover over Divi, and then click on Role Editor. So at first, when you take a look at this, it's way overwhelming, but it's simple to use. So now we have a tab here, which says shop manager. You want to click on that. And now we have all these things that we have access to. So let's say you don't want your shop manager to have access to the DV library. And it's important because the DV library has all your designs and things that you may want to use as you're designing your site. So you can enable or disable it right here. So all these things are very, very accessible. And all we have to do is to an either enable or disable based on how you want to uh, set your site up. But the most important thing here, like for in this example, I would like that my shop manager does not have access to make any changes to my design. So here's what we're going to do. So I'm going to come all the way down here and look for anything that relates to design. So I'm going to go to my library settings. I don't want to give them access to the library or any global items. And also over here, let's get rid of that. Split testing is fine. It may be a good idea that they uh, access the split testing. Uh, so let's go ahead, build an interface. So here I can actually disable quite a lot of things, but there are certain things that you may want to leave here. For example, the use of the visual builder, they may need to uh, do a few tweaks, but if you want to completely get rid of that, you can just remove access to the visual builder and also the ability to upload fonts because fonts are very important. It's part of our design. And uh, let's continue here and dynamic content field. Yes, let's disable that. So that's looking great so far. Now loading the layout. This one here is a bit, uh, it's a bit tricky. Sometimes you may want to load the layout, but for this example, let's get rid of the layout. So that's for the builder interface for the library settings. I mean, that's fine. We've disabled that the setting tabs. I'm going to leave that as it is. And then over here, these are the setting types. This also is very, very important. So edit colors. We don't want these colors to be edited. We don't want, hang on, the content is fine because the shop manager can go in and edit the content. So let's leave the content as it is. Uh, the fonts, we're going to disable that. Okay, so now let's move on. Now all these are our modules. I think modules, I'm just going to leave that as it is. There's just too many to switch off. So over here on the support center and portability, this is where you want to make sure that uh, the theme uh, the theme builder is disabled because that is where we have all our templates, okay? So this is where it's very important that it's disabled. So you may be thinking, okay, we've disabled all these things. How is this going to work now? I mean, what happens? So what I'm going to do now is right now I'm logged into my site as the administrator. So I need to now log in as the shop manager. So I've gone ahead and done that. I've opened up incognito mode and here we are. So if we go to our products, 
I'm going to click on all products. And here are all our products. So I can go into this one here, for example, and view it as a shop manager. And here it is. Pretty cool. Very basic. Now, let's say your shop manager <laughs> wants to go in and try and edit this. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So first of all, I want to show you that I'm the shop manager here. So I'm going to come over here to the users. Click on all users. And there we go. You can see here that my profile is shop manager. Excellent. So let's say I try to go in and make changes to my design. You can see right away it says, sorry, you're not allowed to access this page. So this is very important. They can do uh, any other changes. Like, for example, we can go to the product page, uh, click on all products, go in, uh, make changes to uh, or add some uh, some content over here. That is pretty much OK. We can go in, edit, make changes to this hit update, everything will work fine. But when you try to go in and uh, temper with the design itself, you've locked them out and they can't mess around with it. The advantages of this is you keep your design intact because you don't want uh, shop managers to be able to go in and mess around with the design. So here's a quick tip for you. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing that, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.